Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On December 14, 2018, Adani Elbit Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Complex was inaugurated in Telangana. It is a 50,000 square feet state-of-art facility and the first UAV manufacturing facility in India and the first one outside Israel to manufacture the Hermes 900 male UAVs. The factory started its operation with manufacturing of complete carbon composite aerostructures for Hermes 900 followed by Hermes 450 catering to global market and will further ramp up for the assembly and integration of the complete UAVs. Now, as per latest report, Hermes 450 has picked up the interest of Indian Army and Army has requested for information on the UAV. The company has offered Hermes 450 for the trial. Now, if you look at the capabilities of Hermes 450, it is a multi-role, high-performance tactical UAS. Israel forces use it as a primary UAV for counter-terror operation. It's a mature and combat-proven UAS with over 3 lakhs operational flight hours and a class-leading safety and reliability record. It incorporates cutting-edge payloads and selected dual payload configuration. The choice of payloads includes EOIR laser, SAR GMTI and MPR, COMINT and COMJAM, LINT, hyperspectral systems, large area scanning systems and many other payloads. The UAV has a takeoff weight of 550 kg, max payload of 180 kg, endurance of 17 hours and service ceiling of 18,000 feet. At the same time, Hermes 900 have better capability. It provides over-the-horizon persistent multi-payload capabilities which includes laser designator, long-range UIR, SAR, LINIT, electronic warfare, COM init, COM jam, wide area surveillance and mapping, hyperspectral and communication relay. The UAV has a takeoff weight of 1180 kg, max payload of 350 kg, endurance of 36 hours and service ceiling of 30,000 feet. Now, if we look at the Tapas BS-201 capability, it falls somewhere between Hermes 450 and Hermes 900. Tapas has proven the endurance of 18 hours and flight altitude of 27,500 feet. The UAV has to achieve the flight altitude of 30,000 feet and endurance of 20 hours. Tapas has a range of 250 kilometers and is capable of day and night missions. It can carry payload of up to 350 kilograms. At present, six Tapas UAVs under production by HL with the help of ADE for user evaluation trials. Tapas will soon go for Central of Military Airworthiness certification for its airworthiness by checking its load factors, safety, and airframe design. Though Tapas is primarily used for surveillance, it can also carry weapons. It is redesigned to carry certain weapon and can be converted into armed platform. Though the original completion date of this project was 2016, it is now extended to 2023 and government has made it clear that there will be no further extension. The requirement of 76 Tapas drone has been drafted for tri services, which includes 60 for Army, 12 for Air Force and 4 for Navy. If the PUS program get further delayed or not meeting the performance and reliability criteria, then Army may consider Hermes series of UAVs for surveillance across its borders. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.